Just, uh, if I had, if uh, the fates are favorable and I'm able to do another book, I've considered calling it the the, uh, the Church Without a Bell. That's the last poem I read. Or this one called The Gone and the Going Away. Hmm. Still on the fence. <laughs> the world I know keeps going farther and farther away. I cannot keep it from going, though I love it still, and yet with darker joy. The dark because that world was soaked in sadness. The joy because I understood and lived there too. It's that simple. Sometimes love can stay in the heart of such a time and place and turn to fiercer love, to love beyond all understanding of the name. Not really simple, no. The world I live in now feels flattened out. It isn't simple or difficult. It is a world of wanting more, but tired of having all it has. But I won't condemn that predicament. I'm not a prophet. Not yet. Perhaps I knew this would happen, a removal in time from time, but I didn't know it would happen so soon. One world replaced by a later world I don't belong to. Yet still today, while walking in the woods, I remembered the first one, the one I'm from. I remembered a boy, dear Lord forgive him, who killed the neighbor's kittens. One by one, he hung them from a clothesline until they slumped like a row of wet socks. I thought about that day, a mean one, about the boy whose mother beat him with a soup ladle, whose father got drunk and run over by a coal train. And then I had a larger thought, and more disturbing. I wondered where did all the old time people go? Who's hidden them away, and why? The country poor are hard to count, but easy to blame for the way they live. A dog chained to a wooden box, a junk pile heaped in the yard, a twist of smoke rising from a barrel. Surely they know better. Surely we all do, always, but don't. I knew a boy named Billy Oglesby who carried a pistol in his boot. He married a girl and pretty soon they had a baby and started going to this holler in church and got convinced the baby had a demon in it. So they burned the baby's toys and clothes in their patch of yard and locked the baby in a shed for three days and prayed the demon out. And it worked, the praying. Is it hope or hopelessness we see in this little scene? The burn pile flecked with bits of color, but mostly ash. I don't know. But part of me is glad it happened. I don't know why. I recognize it. I see it all. It doesn't hide the human truth. O oh, woman who washed your warm clothes in a bucket on the stove, Old man who napped in the yard with the goat who ate the buttons off your shirt. Where are you now? Has some peace found you? And you, Agnes Caldwell, you woe-bent digger of mountain graves, oh, what became of you and the weary songs you sang? Does some still water run beside you now? Oh, will you keep a place for me beside you in the grass? You, Vicey. You, Peanut. You, Hopper. You, Red. One more little shorty called the prayer. Oh, Lord of greening, Lord of night, probably Lord of jiggling things like ladies, branches, 
anything bouncing back, Lord, especially rivers above them, high hills, stiller, don't stop. Bye. <laughs>